Sin is what got you in chains. That's what have you in chains. Sin and your ignorance to what God's perfect divine will is. All right, uh, before I get into what we want to work on, I want to answer a question here. Uh, in the eighth chapter book of Proverbs, I'm asked, who was that that was with God from the beginning? Ah. You better give me the eighth chapter of the book of Proverbs and begin about verse 21, mm -hmm. because this is the scripture that the Jehovah Witnesses use to justify their two God teaching. Yeah. They say the Almighty is a big God, Jehovah, he's the big God. And Jesus, the Son of God, well, is a little God. Yeah. And uh, so when they wrote me about this scripture, they said the church they go to is teaching. They claim they believe is one God, but they're using this scripture to say that the begotten Son of God. Now, I want you to hear the old troublemaker and get my language. The begotten flesh and blood that Mary birthed was with Jesus since the beginning. Hmm. Now, if the begotten body of flesh and blood that Mary birthed was with Jesus from the beginning, that would deprive Jesus from having a birthday. That's right. Because God don't have no beginning of days, no end of life. That's right. The begotten body of flesh and blood did not always exist. For all things cannot be in men. Listen. Ecclesiasticus chapter 17 and verse 30. Yes, you give me some more juice too back there. Uh, Williams, I like, uh, he sound pretty, sound pretty strong this morning. Amen. Amen. Yeah, man, you sound pretty strong this morning. <laughs> Reese, he must give you a good break. <laughs> All right, come on. Uh, in the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 17 and verse 30. Follow me and get me. For all things cannot be in men. All things cannot be in men. Because the Son of Man. Because the Son of Man. Is not immortal. The Son of man is not spirit. That's right. The son of man was mortal. That's right. The title that the son of God had, son of man, means son of a prophet. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Listen. In Romans chapter 1, we're at verse 3. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Which was made. All that.
there's something about the Lord that was made. That's right. You got to keep in mind, son. Psalms 103. Mm -hmm. Know ye the Lord that he is that God. He is God. He is God. But now the New Testament says, give chapter and verse again. Romans chapter 1, we're at verse 3. That's what? Concerning his son. Concerning his son. Jesus Christ our Lord. There's something about the Lord that was made. That's right. Uh -huh. Which was made of the seed of David. Pertaining to what? According to the flesh. He was related to David how? According to the flesh. He was David's son how? According to the flesh. He was the son of man how? According to the flesh. He was the son of God how? According to the The flesh. Well, Pastor Jennings, would you say nothing about the Son of God was here before the world was? Oh, yeah, it was oh, something yes. here. In the book sure. of First Peter. Something was here about the Son of God. That's right. Before. That's right. The world was. That's right. What, what, what was it, Jennings? <laughs> it was the thought of him. That's right. That's right. He exists in the mind of God. That's right. For sacrificial purposes. In the book of 1 Peter chapter 1. Listen to what I'm about to say now. For the purpose of sacrifice. That's right. He was in God's mind. That's right. But the body to be sacrificed wasn't in the beginning with God as a physical body. That's right. Remember, it was called the only begotten. begotten. The moment you said begotten. Begotten, that means something is conceived. That's right. And it must be born. That's right. Now let's get some Bible and I'll show you that, yes, something of the Son of God exists mm -hmm. before he was born, and it was the thought of his arrival. First Peter chapter. In other words, it's called predestination That's right. or being foreordained. That's right. I want to take this apart and strip it bare. Follow me in your Bible. First Peter chapter 1, we're starting at verse 18. All right. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things. Such as what? As silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. Yes. But with the precious blood of Christ. With the precious blood. Of Christ. Of Christ. As of a lamb without blemish 
as of a lamb without blemish or without spot. Who verily was foreordained. Wait a minute. <laughs> Amen. Who was for? Ordained. ordained. He Be was predestinated. Before the foundation of the world. Before the world. All was. But was manifest. That's right. That's right. He was foreordained before the foundation of the world. But there was an appointed time. For the manifestation of that which was preordained. To be seen. That's right. Did you hear what I just said? That's right. There was an appointed time. Hear the old man.
and now. Mm -hmm. For the manifestation yeah. of that which was preordained To be seen. That's right. It was a particular time that it had to be seen. That's right. And time. had to come in the fullness. That's right. Go ahead. Go with your God. That's right. I, I believe Brother Paul said even so we
we were children, children in bondage under the under elements, the of, elements the world. of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, When the fullness of the time was come. Now, Hallelujah. the time had to come in the fullness, fullness for the manifestation of that which was preordained. That's right. And when the fullness of time came, God sent forth his son. And where did he send forth his son from? Made of a woman. That's right. Where did he send his son from? Made of a woman. Where did he send his son from? Made of a woman. During what period of time? Made under the law. That can't be heaven. That's right. That can't be. That cannot be heaven. That's right. What you mean under the law? Moses' law, and Moses' law was not in heaven. No. And Moses did not exist right. in heaven, <laughs> made under the law. That's right. To redeem them that were under the that law. That was under the law. That we might receive the adoption of sons. Hallelujah. God had to come in the flesh yeah. and set up his own adoption agency. That's right. Amen. And in order for the adoption papers to go through, it couldn't go through until Hallelujah. some death be Hallelujah. given. That's right. God couldn't die. That's right. God is eternal. God is perpetual. That's right. God is everlasting. That's right. God have no beginning and God have no ending. That's right. So in order for a sacrifice to be offered, God couldn't offer himself. That's right. That's right. So you know what God did? Amen. To keep the sacrifice spotless yeah. and to keep sacrifice perfect yeah. he couldn't allow none of the animals that he created That's right. to be offered for us for it is not possible because they were contaminated with the same Hallelujah. condition of the world Hallelujah. the fall of adam for it is not possible listen at what the word of god said in hebrews chapter 10 and at verse 4 it's not, not possible possible that the blood of bulls oh, God, that the blood of bulls and of goats, goats should take away sin. Take away sin. Wherefore, when Hallelujah. He cometh, when He into the world, when He come into the world, He said, "Sacrifice and when, offering thou wouldest he not." Gonna mm -hmm. He gonna say, "Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not." But a body, a what? A body, a what? A body, a what? A body. What did He do with the body? Hast thou prepared me? That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The body Hallelujah. was the Son of God. That's right. The body Hallelujah. was the sacrifice of God. That's right. The body That's right. was the man of God. That's right. The body was the servant of God. That's right. The body was a high priest of God. That's right. The body was an apostle of God. That's right. The body was a minister of God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. of God. That's right. The body was the prophet of God. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, wherefore, when he cometh into the world, when he, hallelujah, come into the world, he says, sacrifice and offering now, thou wouldest not. when the Son of God came into the world, hallelujah. where did he come from? And where was he traveling from to get into the world? That's right. All right, you listen to the old man. Mm -hmm. Where did the Son of God, Christ Jesus, the flesh and blood body? Someone said, well, why were you talking about the Son of God? You, talk, you always refer to the body. Yeah. But that's what the Bible refers to. That's right. Give me Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1, we're at verse 31. Mary's son, listen, listen. Mary's son was a boy. Mm. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I have to make it so plain. Make it plain. Mary's son 
was a boy. <laughs> That's right. Until the Bible called him a man child. That's right. Don't tell me a boy <laughs> came from heaven. That's right. That's right. That's right. If it came from heaven, how did it get into the embryonic sac? Did it come from heaven and was thrown in the sack? <laughs> Amen. Amen. And did it come down a man and then turn to a baby, went to a womb, come out, and grew back up to a man again? <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. His flesh will be offered to sanctify his people. That's right. He didn't need no flesh in heaven. That's right. Why? There was no altar for it to be offered. That's right. He wouldn't be pierced in heaven. Right. And he couldn't die in heaven. By the which will we are sanctified. Listen at this yeah. now. I want to show you how the Son of God was a man child here on earth, body of flesh and blood. And the reason why we talk about the flesh and blood as being God's son, that's what the Bible says. That's right. Listen. In Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 10. And then I want Luke chapter 1. And verse 31. Follow me. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 10. All right. By the which will we are sanctified. We are set apart. Through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ. Wait a minute. <laughs> Amen. Wait a minute. Amen. We are what? By the which will we are sanctified. We are sanctified sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ. The offering of what? Through, through, the, uh, through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ. The offering of what? Through the offering of the body the of body? Jesus. The body? The body? The body. You better give me St. John 3.16. St. John 3.16. Let's get the offering of the body, then I want Mark 15.39. That's right. St. John chapter 3 and verse 16. You know that scripture, viewers. God so loved the world. <laughs> <laughs> Amen.